In 2001, the Barber Dodge Pro Series continues to launch the careers of tomorrow's racing superstars, just as it's done for today's champ car veterans, Kenny Breck and Brian Herta and Juan Montoya, who's made the move to Formula One. Now in its 16th year, and newly recognized as the official entry-level professional race series of kart, the Barber Dodge Pro Series races your way next. ESPN, the worldwide leader in sport, presents the Barber Dodge Pro Series. Today, it's round number seven from Exhibition Place in Toronto, Canada. From high above, looking down on this temporary street circuit. Hello again, everybody. I'm Marty Reed, alongside Jeremy Dale. This 1.75 mile layout, but some other unique characteristics. Well, of course, this is its 16th season here, so a lot of history on the streets of Toronto. Only the second time the Pro Series has left the United States, and the first time was Vancouver last year, and there is our pole setter, Matt Plum. As a matter of fact, he won that race in Vancouver last year. Well, he is our Michelin Pole Award winner at 87.8 miles an hour. His second pole in three races. Races. Seth Koster will be alongside in row number one. And then take a look at the rest of this field. And look at the number nine spot, a career high for Ronda Trammell. Yeah, great performance by Ronda Trammell. Akihira Okamoto rounds out the top ten. Ten cars within a second on this grid. Twenty cars in total will take the green flag here on the streets of Toronto. And this will be the third of eight race weekends with the Cards FedEx Tour. Now we're on board with Matt Plum and the WorldCom onboard camera. Not only is he our pole sitter, he has two second place finishes and a win in his last four outings. And our second onboard camera carried today by Ryan Hunter Ray. He carries the Medlock Games Vineyard and Winery onboard camera. He starts third inside row number two. And then we've got Mark Brewers with the Sunoco onboard camera starting fourth outside of row two. Had a career best third place finish last time out in Cleveland. He's seventh currently in the points. Our fourth onboard camera today carried by Peter Boss. He starts outside row number four. He carries the ITIS Incorporated onboard camera. And he comes into today's race ninth in the championship points chase. One more onboard camera for you today. Rhonda Trammell in the Klein Tools machine starting ninth inside of row five that as we mentioned it's her career best and she has finished 13th at Detroit and Cleveland that's her career best in those categories top 10 in points you can see it's only seven points between Nicholas Rondé and Roger Yashikawa 10 points back to Matt Plum our pole sitter Ryan Hunter Ray 13 markers back Sepp Koster rounding out the top five 15 points back this championship Jeremy still up for grabs well, considering there are 22 points available on a race weekend, if you win the race, you get the pole, and you get the fastest race lap. So there are a lot of guys right in the thick of this championship. The Dodge Viper peels off. There is Matt Plum and Seth Koster. Ryan Hunter Ray tucked up under the gearbox of Matt Plum. We're on board with Ryan Hunter Ray, feathering the throttle. Mark Brewers waiting for the green flag as we come onto the front straightaway. And round seven of the Barber Dodge Pro Series is green and boy what a jump by our pole sitter matt plum rolled up at a very nice speed there and he just got to the throttle earlier than coster look at alex Marifico, a little bit of contact a little bit of lockup down on the inside of turn one but he moves up to the second boy and that was uh, ryan hunter ray that he touched tires with and there's ryan running in third as we're on board very very aggressive move by alex Marifico. mark brewer is unfortunately back to seventh the run down into turn one here, very wide, a lot of pavement available, a lot can happen. Ryan Hunter Ray now up in the second place. He puts the move on Alex Sparafico. Nice move by Hunter Ray. So let's set it for you. There is our race leader, Matt Plum. Ryan Hunter Ray. Whoa, and look at uh, Ron Day. Nicholas gets inside a seventh posture and moves into fourth. And great moves by these guys on the opening lap on cold tires. That is critical. You've got to make hay while the sun is shining. Let's go back on board. This is Hunter Ray's first lap down into turn one look for spare fico on the inside there he is and you can see a little bit of contact there very very aggressive by spare fico then let's go on board with ronda trammell as she's going to get a little contact here from rafael spare fico then christian shimshak cook morley on the right she goes from ninth to 14th just that quick well as i said very wide look at the move up the inside attempted there by roger yasakawa and Seth Koster defending that position pretty aggressively. That's Koster and Yasakawa right in front of Mark Brewers as we're on board with the Sunoco Renard. 
remember, these are identically prepared Dodge Renards, all on Michelin tires. It's truly a driver's championship. In fact, the seven fastest qualifiers today also just happen to be the top seven in points. Well, it is a very, very close championship, and that's what it's about. It's about driving talent. It's about climbing that ladder. These guys all want to drive Kart FedEx champ cars. That is their goal. That's why this championship exists. It is sanctioned by Kart. And of course, the uh, Barber Kart ladder is in place. There are drivers in this championship. Ryan Hunter Ray being one of them. Morley, Rafael Sparafico. They are sponsored and they are given the opportunity to climb that ladder. On board now with Peter Boss, currently running in eighth place. And he's lost contact with that group in front of him. This is the run onto the back straightaway, out of turn one, through turn two. There is Alex Barafico, Rondé, Coster, Yasakawa, Brewers, and then the group with Peter Boss. And here comes Sepp Coster looking on the inside. Can he get around Rondé? Yes, he does. Takes over fourth place. Oh, and he tries to come right back. Nice move by Coster, and now he's having to defend a little bit on Rondé, and that's a little bit cheeky there by Coster. As we go on board with Matt Blum, he is your race leader. There's the top five here in round seven of the Barber Dodge Pro Series. For all the latest news and notes from the world of motorsports, all you have to do is dial up rpm.espn.com, and that'll plug you in. Then just uh, type in your keyword. If it's CART, just C-A-R-T. You're plugged in. Back here at Toronto at Exhibition Place, it's the Barber Dodge Pro Series round number seven. Marty Reid along with Jeremy Dale, and they're going a little bit slower than we are on the racetrack right now as we pick up the battle for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This is in lockstep. That's Alexander Sparafico and Seth Coster, and right behind them, Yasukawa and Rondé are duking it out for the next spot. And Sparafico goes to the inside to defend, so does Rondé. That's going to force both these guys that are trying to make up the positions to do it on the outside. Coster can't do it. Yasukawa can't do it. So the inside line holds station. And now you can see that they are right back in that same running order, third through seventh. Matt Plum continues to lead. And of course, Ryan Hunter Ray continues to run in second place. But this is a great battle. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Sparafico leading this freight train. Alexander, 27 years old. Born in Brazil, now calls Miami home. And this is his third year of racing in the Barber Dodge Pro Series, going after that $305,000 career enhancement that goes to the Pro Series champion. And Sparafico's, of course, a real racing family. Cousin Raphael also runs in Barber Dodge. As a matter of fact, he's one of the Barber Kart scholarship winners and presently leading the Rookie of the Year points, which, if he were to win it, is worth $185,000. On board now with... Ronda Trammell qualified ninth, dropped back to 14th, has picked up a spot to 13th, also picked up a bug on the onboard camera lens. And now look at the battle for the race lead. Plum and Ryan Hunter Ray, and he's closing down. Here comes Sparafico holding off Coster. And Yasakawa continues to put intense pressure on Ronde. And Brewers is the one that's trying to take advantage of that as they make the run up out of turn three. Yeah, Mark in seventh, closing on both Ronde and Yasakawa ahead of Ronde. So Coster continues to pressure Sparafico. Yasakawa continues to pressure Rondé. And Mark Brewers is there with the best view in the house right now. As we go back to the battle for the race lead, Matt Plum, the 25-year-old from Unionville, Pennsylvania, in his third year in the Pro Series, opens the margin back up to about four car lengths as we go back on board with the WorldCom on board camera. This is the braking zone for turn one. You can hear the rear tires there just clamoring for grip in that braking zone. Here is Ryan Hunter Ray now. The long run down this back straightaway, well over a half mile in length, over 135 miles an hour in these Raynard Dodges. Meanwhile, let's go back a little bit further. There are battles all over the racetrack. Roger Yasakawa trying to get around Nicholas Rondé. He looks left, he looks right. Back to the left side, and we're not going to be able to get it done. Well, Rondé pretty much going down the, the, the center right part of the road, and that's really limiting Yasakawa's opportunities. That is Davey Cook in the yellow Cody machine making contact there, it looked like, with Okamoto. That was Akira Okamoto. They did have a little bit of contact, and it looks like Rafael Sparafico 
Tries to get by. Cook hangs on to that 11th spot. Meanwhile, on board with Ronda Trammell. She's still running in 13th. And that has helped Ronda Trammell close up on this battle. And Ronda now going to dive down underneath Rafael Sparafico. Very aggressive move by Ronda there. You know, this race is a real happening. It literally goes on throughout the entire week. And you see some volleyball competition nearby here at Exhibition Place. Stay with us. The Barber Dodge Pro Series continues.